Hi, my name's Claire and I'm a cheese maker. got into this sort of thing, um, into dairy. I'm actually a beef cattle kid, so I come off a beef cattle property. But I have found through my agriculture studies that I really enjoyed working with you know, different people from different farms, and especially dairies, because they're, they're very passionate about their product, and they really like to get a high quality and high standards in their product. So during year 12, I decided to study uh, traineeship in cheese making. So it's basically a food processing certificate specialising in dairy cheese making. So it teaches you the science, the OHS, the general stuff you need to know about cheese making. But it goes into a lot more depth than the on the job training. The way we make cheese is to get a delivery of milk. So it's all raw milk, what we receive, and then it's pasteurised through, um, we use hot water pasteurisation, so basically a, a heat exchanger that heats the milk up and then from there it goes into separate tubs and we add the various cultures that allow each cheese to be what it is. So it's a camembert or it's a wash rind or it's possibly a hard cheese. After we added the cultures, it's left to sit for a while and then we add a rennet. Um, so that rennet is stirred in and calcium, just a little bit of extra calcium. And then it's also left to set so then it goes like jelly. And then that's cut and then that's when you get your separation of the curds and whey. So the curds and whey stage, we stir it various times during the day, so just to our special recipe. And then it's hooped out into boxes, so moulded. So a boutique cheese making operation, basically it's all handmade. So in larger factories you'll find big mechanised equipment, stirring equipment, um, very you know wires and cutting instruments. Here it's all very hands-on, very very love, lots of love goes into it. What I like about being a cheese maker is it's really a lovable product, so you put a lot of time, passion and effort and when you see that cheese in the deli with your label and everything on it, that's, that's the moment for me. I've just been to Brisbane for the Australian Specialty Cheese Makers show in Brisbane and I went to a few delis and talked to a few chefs that have used the product and they go, it's wonderful. And that's what gives you enthusiasm back at the factory. One of my assessments for my cheese making course was to do a product improvement process. How I chose to improve upon our cheese is not to in fact improve on a product because I didn't feel that I could do that, but in fact I made a new product. So I've just started to produce yogurt in the factory. So basically that means a lot of trialing, exper experimentation, Everyone that's tried the yogurt has gone, oh my gosh, that's amazing, you know? So especially with the hazelnut, you know, everyone's really, really stoked about just the creaminess and the texture, and that's because we drain it for a little bit longer. So it gets that, that added thickness and creaminess. The good things about working in as a cheesemaker in the dairy industry is that there's, although there's a lot spent inside these four walls, you know, doing a lot of really fun experimentation and that sort of thing, there's also outside the walls, as I've recently experienced. So there's um, specialty cheese maker shows, which just take a lot of us, all our small guys, that make cheese in our own little areas in Australia and bring us all together to have a really good fun night and an awards session. So they hold those in Melbourne, Sydney and Brisbane, so all those centres. Um, cheese makers from around Australia enter their different products. So we entered six different products and we came away with two awards. It's really funny for me to see someone actually open a camembert and go, oh, look at that, you know, and people to to get such excitement out of trying something and eating something that I've put so much love and effort and passion into. So it's, you know, it's turned daily and it's, it's cared for. So seeing someone enjoy that product is one of the other perks of the job. One of the challenges for me as a cheesemaker is to supply the demand that's out there for Australian specialty cheese. So a lot of people are going into you know, overseas cheese and just because it's from France or from Europe, it must be really good. Well, truth is, here in Australia, we have some of the best cheese in the world and I've seen that at the cheese shows. Australian cheese is a fresh product that gives, you know, people like me a chance to put their passion into something. What I like about working the dairy industry is that there's a lot of people with a lot of passion and that want to to promote Australian dairy and get it out there and get people working in the industry. And it's a wonderful career, so I can't speak highly enough of the Australian dairy industry. If you'd like to be a cheesemaker, you can seek out your local boutique or specialty handmade cheese 
producer and just ask them for a part-time job. Maybe weekends, school holidays, but just get involved, get into that environment. So where else can you get yourself on hands on something like this that might win a gold medal as ours did at the recent tree show?